Welcome to the Firex Text channel. My name is Henry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Steam ROM Manager application to import your ROM library into Steam. It will grab all of the artwork and set it up to launch all of these games directly from Steam. In order for this to work, you will need RetroArch or standalone emulators already set up. I find this very beneficial when streaming my system to my TV and using big picture mode. This allows me to have all of my ROMs separated into different categories within Steam and to be able to use just a controller to navigate through it like an emulator front end. Instead of using the Steam option to quit the game, you will want to use the RetroArch quick menu. Let's not waste any more time and get started. So the first thing we are going to need to do is to download the Steam ROM Manager. You can just go to the link I have in the description, and we can click on the latest release. And then I will be downloading the EXE since I am running Windows. Once this is done downloading, we can go ahead and run it. Once it is done installing, it will open up here. Now, what we have to do is set up a configuration for each of the systems that we want to add to Steam. So I will show you the fastest way to do that. The first thing is to make one, and then I found it easier just to copy the information from one to the next one. Let's start with SNES. You go to the Community Presets field at the top right, type in the system that you are looking to start with, and I'm gonna select the SNES 9X here. And you want to make sure if this is going to be through RetroArch, to make sure that option is also showing here. I will be quickly going through each field and explaining what they do. This first option here, the configuration title, is just what this configuration is going to be saved within Steam ROM Manager. The Steam directory, and this is the location of where your Steam folder is. So for me, mine is in... C program files Steam. Once you navigate there and you select folder, it should fill it out here. The next field is user accounts. Now this is your Steam account name. You can either click choose to bring up a list of your Steam accounts, or you can type it in manually. Then we can go to the Steam category. This is how Steam will sort your games and what label they will be under. So we'll leave that as SNES. This will be the directory to your ROMs. So I will go to my SNES folder, hit select folder. And the last thing we have to select is the RetroArch path to the executable. So we can hit browse, navigate to where you have RetroArch installed, select the EXE, and from here, you should go ahead and save this. If you want to set a core to run here that's not listed in the community preset, that's still in RetroArch, there is a simple way to do that. All you have to do is navigate to your RetroArch folder, go into your cores folder. If you wanted to change to run mess and s, you could go here, select the name, copy the name, so everything before the .dll, and you would paste that right here where it says libretro, and make sure that that dot is not changed right here. Anytime you make a change, you will want to click Save, go to Preview, hit Parse. It will scan your ROMs and load up a lot of the artwork here. Now, for each game, you can choose the artwork by hovering your mouse over them and clicking these arrows. It'll take a second to load each artwork, but as you can go through, pick the artwork that you want for each game. You will want to make sure that your Steam is completely closed. When you're done, you can click Save to Steam. Now that we're done with that, let me show you how to add a, another one here. Each of these configs are 
in this system called parsers. So we want to click new parser, go to preset, and let's say we want to add our PlayStation games here. I run mine through um, Beetle. There's the RetroArch Beetle PSX. And now the easiest way that I have found to make more of these and to speed up this process is once you've selected the preset, just go ahead and click save. And now you should have this option here. We can just go back to the SNES and just copy and paste everything that we've previously set up to this one. You can just change that for the ones that need to be changed, which will be the ROMs directory. Now that that's all changed, we click save. And the PlayStation's one is now done. So you can just do that for each one. And that way this will hopefully speed up the process for you. You can right here toggle which ones you are going to be importing. So if we just wanted to do NES, come here. It still has the SNES games, but once we click parse, it'll then just do the NES games. But if we can do all of them at the same time, it may take a little longer to load. Now, if for any reason you run into an issue where it cannot find a game and it doesn't seem to be loading the artwork, you can then click this option down here to add an image yourself. We can click this magnifying glass that will bring up a search where you can then say, what was that? That was Crash Team Racing. It should then pull up the game. There it is. Once you select it, you can hit save and close. And now Crash Team Race, it has loaded up. So if you ever find one that's mismatched or it doesn't pull it up at all, that's how you can fix that. And then once you're done, remember to click Save to Steam. It will then take a moment to import all of these to Steam. Now, if there's any games on here that you do not want added or it's adding multiples for some reason, you can do an exclude and pick one of these games. You can pick any games that you want to remove or you do not want to add, click save, and then that will remove them from here. Now, if you have some games that you run on separate cores than other ones, what you can do is, let's say we use PlayStation as an example here. If we highlight PlayStation, go to copy. So now we have a second one here. Let's say I like to use their rearmed Copy the name of the core that you want to use, paste it here, change the name just so we don't get confused here, click save, and now we have two different PlayStation options here. You can use these buttons to order them how you'd like. So let's say that the games that I like to run in PSX rearmed Let's just say my Final Fantasy games. Um, what we can do is we can go to Exclude. Click Exclude Visible. That will exclude all of them. And then just pick the games that we want for this. Let's just say it's these. We click Save. So now these are the only ones that will be linked to PCSX Rearmed. What we want to do then is we will want to go to the other core that we have and remove those from the list on this side and just exclude the ones that we included on the other one. Anytime you add new games, change art, change the config, exclude games, anything like that, you will need to parse and then click save to Steam again. And always make sure Steam is fully closed before you do that. You can go ahead and start Steam to make sure that your games were added correctly. If for any reason you ran into any issues or they weren't added, you can always ask questions in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, 
please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.